All right, the uh, the bend arc and crown arc have been purchased. So before it goes, I'm going to kind of show you how you could make your own, but the key is that scale up there. Let's climb up there and take a look at it. All right, first with the bolting block. I'm going to go this way. That is... Oh, 14 inches. In width. And it is... About 10 inches in height. And you can see it has that nice radius on it. It does have a 7 8 channel. And the roller has a 7 8 channel. We have a, another block and another roller for one inch. But that's the rig you could, and then of course it's a clamp to hold the pipe tightly so it doesn't wander as you bend it. It stays clamped. But the key really is that scale. Let's move over and take a look at it. All right, so this is also a video for the person that, that bought this rig so that they can set it up correctly. Okay, that scale lines up with the edge of the jig. That is the edge. And then, you can see it's, it's number for an, from actual inches, it's number is off. But this is center. that was slow enough where you could freeze on the width that you need there we go that's a down and back now I'll tell you how this works it's by center so if you need a 99 inch from pole to pole the beam of the boat is 99 inches from mount to mount you would come here to the 99 inch with your center, which is actually, what's that, 35 and a quarter from the edge of the jig. And of course that would uh, bend a 99 inch width without a crown. Normally if you want a 99, you're gonna have to bend it at 102, maybe 103. And then after your crown, you're back at 99. But that's all in the formula of using the crowner. And how much crown you want to put in but that's that's how the bend arc works you would bend you would place your your desired center point bend a leg and then flip it around center it up again and bend the other leg and then after you run it through the crowner you should have the desired you know you only bend it to about 80 degrees you don't bend a full 90 unless you're going flat no crown but that's never a good idea because the crown uh, the canvas will crown it for you if you don't. It'll make an hourglass out of it and you won't like it. So there you go. That's the, the bend arc. And then my other question was about the binders. The binders and my rollover tool. These are all Sailrite Swingaways. The Sailrite Swingaway is the best binder that I've ever used. Um, I've got one in three quarter, in one inch, and in inch and a quarter. When we were binding the carpets, I used inch and a quarter Sumbrella bias cut uh, so that going around corners was very natural for it. And inside corners were not such a fight. Um, so that's, and of course on this machine, to change out the binder, And I'm ready to go. But if you've got just a standard deck where you're you're having to set up every time you have to set your screws in the bed and get everything all lined up, it's really nice to be able to swing that out of the way and sew something without this, you know, having to undo it and then put it back because you forgot something that doesn't need binding. It just swings out of the way. Also allows you to lock in really easy, go around heavy corners and then pull your material back through, get it right back up and take off again. These are really the best binder I've ever used. The old style was just hard mounted. You hard mounted it in and then it ran. 
Now this one is a bluebird. And they were pretty trusty, but if you if you bent them at all, if you got if you dropped them or whatever and got them out of shape, they would not work anymore. They just they wouldn't. So this one, I've actually closed off the bottom. I pinched it off. And then this is my rollover tool. It only goes through the top and it will roll over about a half an inch. Which is perfect if you're just trying to bury that that live edge of umbrella. So that's all it is. It's just an old binder that didn't really work anymore once the the swing away binders came out. Those are kind of obsolete. They're just they were sitting in the box. So I modified this one to be a rollover tool. Got to use your scraps. Anyway, there you go. A short video about binders and my rollover tool.